Kidney stones are a big problem. They affect around 10% of world population. And as time goes on, more and more people get kidney stones because of sedentary lifestyle, poor diet and obesity. The symptoms of kidney stones are also very disturbing. They cause severe cramping pain in the back and side called flank pain. This pain often radiates to the abdomen or groin. The condition is called renal colic and it happens almost 100% of symptomatic cases. This pain is very severe and considered one of the strongest type of pain. And the person often can't find comfortable position. Sometimes there is blood in the urine, sometimes there is nausea and vomiting. Kidney stones usually don't come alone. They are often associated with urinary tract infection or kidney infection called pielonephritis. Sometimes they cause kidney obstruction, swelling and hydronephrosis, which is a serious problem and can cause permanent kidney damage. Kidney stones are also linked to kidney disease, which is also a type of permanent kidney damage. And even more, kidney stones are associated with increased risk of cardiovascular disease. That's why I will tell you seven things you do every day and it actually increases kidney stone risk. And seven tips you can do to reduce your kidney stone risk. Several types of kidney stones exist, but the most common and most important is calcium oxalate stones which make up around 80% of kidney stone cases. It highly related to what we eat and salt intake. Uric acid stones around 10% of cases are associated with gout, obesity and diabetes. And true white stones around 5% of cases are linked to urinary tract infection, especially infections like Klebsiella and Proteus. They are more common among women. The first cause of kidney stones is not drinking enough water. Because low urine volume leads to high concentration of kidney stone forming substances. If you drink less than 1.5 liter of water per day, you have a 60% increased risk of kidney stones. The second is when you eat too much sodium or salt, kidney try to excrete it in the urine, but sodium and calcium share same transport system. So more sodium means more calcium loss in the urine. It causes high calcium loss and promotes formation of calcium oxalate and calcium uh, phosphate stones. The third is when you eat too much protein. It leads to kidney stones, especially animal protein like meat, fish, egg, contain purines and purines metabolized into uric acid. This increases the risk uric acid stones. High protein intake is associated with decreased citrate levels and citrate is natural protection from kidney stones because it binds to calcium to keep it soluble. And the fourth is obesity. Obesity lowers urinary pH, make it more acidic and obese individuals tend to have chronically acidic urine which is ideal for uric acid stone formation. This effect is independent to diet. It's metabolic issue tied to insulin resistance. Also insulin resistance which is associated with obesity impairs ammonia production in the kidneys and this further drops urine pH. The fifth is soda and cola intake. Sweet drinks like Coca-Cola and Pepsi contain phosphoric acid. Phosphoric acid increases urine acidification and calcium excretion. This promotes stone formation. People who drink cola have 23% higher risk of kidney stones. The best limit is to drink no more than one cola per week. The sixth is low calcium diet. It sounds paradoxical, but it's true. Low calcium increases risk of kidney stones. When you eat calcium, it binds to oxalates in the gut and prevent oxalate from being absorbed. But if calcium is low, more oxalate is absorbed into blood and it, uh, they go into urine where it forms calcium oxalate crystals. The recommended amount of calcium is around 1000 to 1200 milligram per day. Calcium is best absorbed with meals and this helps to bind oxalate and neutralize it. Oxalates is found in foods like spinach, beets, almonds, sweet potatoes, chocolates, cocoa, soy, buckwheat, 
switch chart and black tea. If oxalate is not neutralized, it is absorbed in the urine. When urine also has calcium, they combine to form crystals, calcium oxalate stones. Now let's see what you should do to avoid kidney stones. First, drink enough water. Perfect if you drink around 2 liters of water per day. Every 500 milligrams of fluid intake lowers kidney stone risk around 8%. Remember, on hot days and during exercise, you should drink extra water. The second is limit salt intake. Sodium intake should be reduced less than 3.4 grams per day. This can decrease risk of kidney stones up to 70%. The third is eat a normal amount of calcium because if you take less than 5 mg of calcium per day, it doubles oxalate absorption. So the best is to take around 800 to 1000 mg of calcium per day with foods. You can include calcium rich foods like yogurt and cheese with meals. Calcium supplements are not recommended on empty stomach. Fourth is reduce intake of protein, especially meat. If you lower meat intake, you can decrease risk of stones by around 50%. Also, increased citrate intake helps citrate binds to calcium and prevents stone formation. This happens in the urine and increasing citrate is one of the best way to reduce risk of kidney stones. For example, drinking lemon water or juice made from one lemon two or three times per day or eating citrus fruits like oranges and lemons. And don't forget to limit oxalate in high risk people like spinach, almonds, beets. And when you eat high oxalate meal, eat them with calcium rich foods. And seventh is avoid sugary drinks like colas. Also, you can increase magnesium intake because magnesium also binds to oxalate in gut and reduce urinary oxalate level. Best source of magnesium is leafy greens, avocado and pumpkin seed. For supplements, around 400 mg per day is recommended including diet plus supplement. Also, eat potassium rich foods because they increase citrate levels which is natural stone blocker. Best source are bananas, oranges, potatoes and beans. And stay physically active, it's important. Also remember that high dose vitamin C over 1000 mg per day converts to oxalate in the body. So avoid high dose of vitamin C. Generally, small stones less than 5 mm are treated with hydration and alpha blockers like tamsulosine. And in 90% of cases, they pass on their own within four weeks. For medium-sized stones, like five, five to 10 millimeters, medical expulsion therapy is often tried. Success rate is around 70%. If not passed, lithotripsy or ureteroscopy is used. For large stones, more than 10 millimeters, shockwave lithotripsy is used. It works best for stones less than 2 cm and success rate is around 80%. Sometimes ureteroscopy plus laser is used. Success rate is around 90% here. 